Bhagavad Gita, verse 4.34, understands this transcendental knowledge by offering your prostrated obeisances to the spiritual master who imparts such knowledge by asking him relevant questions and by rendering service to him. Those who have direct perception of the supreme absolute truth and who are well versed in the imports of the scriptures can enlighten you by instructing you on this science. Sar Ardhavashini How can this knowledge be attained? Sri Bhagavan speaks this verse beginning with Tat Vidhi to give this information. After offering prostrated obeisances unto a guru who gives instructions in transcendental knowledge, one should inquire as follows. O Bhagavan, Guru Deva is addressed as Bhagavan here because he is Ashraya Bhagavan, the supreme receptacle of love for Bhagavan. The sad guru, being Sakshat Harit Vena, has the qualities of Bhagavan. O Bhagavan, why am I in this material condition? How can I become free from it? One must satisfy him by service and attending to his personal needs. Paricharya. It is also said in the scriptures, Tat vikya artam sagurum eva bi gajet samit panihi shrotriyam brahma nishtam. Mundaka Upanishad 1.2.12 to acquire knowledge of Sri Bhagavan, one should approach a guru who knows the real import of the Vedas by carrying the fuel wood of sublime fate as an offering to him. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashikariti Here, Sri Krishna describes knowledge of Bhagavan as extremely rare and difficult to understand. It can only be understood by the mercy of a perfected soul who is a tattva jnani, one who knows the truth, and more specifically a tattva darshi, one who has realized that truth. Sincere and non delicious practitioners, sadakas, should inquire from such an exalted soul about this tattva and please him by offering prostrated obeisances, by asking relevant questions, and by rendering service to him. Prani Patena means to affectionately offer pranams with either eight or five limbs of the body. Pranama or Namaskara means to give up one's false ego and bow down. Here, Seva means to render favorable service for the pleasure of the Guru. This verse describes two symptoms of a Guru who bestows transcendental knowledge. He is both a Jnani and a Tattvadarshi, one who has studied scripture and understood the knowledge in it is called a Jnani, while a Tattvadarshi is a perfected soul who has direct realization of the truth. Some persons possess complete knowledge, but do not have direct realization of tattva, philosophical truths, and of tat, the absolute truth, Sri Bhagavan. The injunctions of such unrealized persons cannot bear fruit. Only the instructions of an exalted, realized personality can do so. Srimad Bhagavatam 11.3.21 also says, Tasmat Gurum Prapad Yeta Chik Yashuhu To understand one's highest welfare, an inquisitive sadaka must seek the shelter of the lotus feet of a bona fide guru. 
Srila Vishwana Chakavarti Thakur comments on this verse as follows. To know their supreme auspiciousness and eternal well-being, sadhakas should accept the shelter of a spiritual master who is expert in the imports of Vedic scriptures, Shabda Brahma, who has realized Parabrahma and who has no material attachments. If he is not expert in or knowledgeable of the imports of the Vedic scriptures, he will not be able to dispel the doubts of his disciples and they will lose faith in him. If a guru has no direct realization of Parabrahma, Bhagavan, his mercy does not fructify to the fullest extent, nor yield the highest result. Here, the word Upasa Mashraya 11.3.21 refers to the Guru who is endowed with realization of the Absolute. This means that he does not fall under the sway of lust, anger, greed, etc., because he has no material attachments. This is further clarified in Srimad Bhagavatam 11.11.18. Shapta Brahmani Nishnatona Nishnayat Pari Yadi Shramas Tasya Shrama Palohi Adenum Iva Rakshataha. Taking shelter of a guru who is expert in knowledge of the Vedic scriptures but who is bereft of Parabrahma realization, is like keeping a barren cow. It is useless labor because one does not achieve any transcendental result. Bhagavad Gita states that Sri Krishna is the supreme transcendental reality. There are those who say that the word Tat in this verse refers to the Jeev Atma. But such understanding is completely incorrect because it contradicts the next verse. Vedanta Darshana also states Anya Artascha Paramar Shaha. One reflects on the Jiva for the sake of understanding the Paramatma. Brahma Sutra 1.3.20. This sutra confirms that the word Tat refers to knowledge of the Supersoul or Param Atma.